It looks like he is. We're gonna throw a high pass here. <laughs> everybody, Chufwaka back at it again with another Madden YouTube video. Today we have a gameplay on the brand new CD Lamb Stocking Stuffer Master Champion, whatever it's called. He is a 94 overall. These cards obviously aren't as high as the other Zero Chill Masters, Payne Manning and Calvin at 95, but these cards are still top and the other one is JC Jackson. And all you have to do is put in 392s. It seems like a lot for some people, but 392s is not that bad, especially when you get three of them back end cat plus the master. I'm super excited to do this. I really am. And if you guys enjoy the video, make sure to smash that like button. We're going to we're gonna try to get this out as fast as possible to you guys. That's how I try to do with my gameplays. Appreciate you guys sticking around. Make sure to... S I said it again, didn't I? Yeah, let's just get right into it. As you guys can see, we did add CD Lamb to the squad already. It is 1037, so it's seven minutes after this card officially got into the game. He is an amazing, amazing card. Six foot two, so he has really, really good height. He's 94 base speed, 90 catching, 92 catching traffic, and a 94 spec catch. So all of his catching is above 90. And all of his route running when powered up will be above a 90. On this card, we will be rocking deep out of Lee. I think that's the best ability for wide receivers right now. These are all the abilities he gets, and yeah, nothing too crazy. Like I said, everybody should be rocking deep out of Lee. It is literally a glitch. It works inside of the numbers everywhere. Best ability in the game. I am so, so excited about just using this card in general. Let's go get right into some games. We'll be getting the ball first. We did keep Justin Jefferson last time. We did a gameplay as well. And, and if CD Lamb is that good, we're going to keep him as well. It looks like our wide receivers are getting younger and younger every single video we do. You guys can see we do have CD on the outside, but we might move him to slot. If I'm not mistaken, I don't watch too many Cowboys games, but I'm pretty sure he plays slot in real life. Obviously, correct me if I'm wrong here. First play of the game, it looks like we're going to actually get jammed and we're just going to throw this one away too. But if we can get it over the middle, that that would be an absolute view. Looks like we might have him. We're going to throw it over the top. Will we have him? And we get a little bailed there. I'm not going to lie. We definitely got bailed. You guys could see. I, uh, I was definitely ready for that to be a pick. Let's quick snap. A nice little flood concept. Looks like we're going to get him stuck. And it looks like we're going to have CD wide open for the easy first down. We love to see it. Remember, we are playing house rules too. For anybody wondering, it's basically a full game. So there's literally nothing different. CD running this nice little zig route. I think if we start forcing a little bit too much, this guy might start to notice a tiny bit. Looks like we're going to have CD though. Can we get a spin move for an easy first down? And we're going to spin that other guy out. But... Roy Williams, I think we're actually playing a Cowboys team team, believe it or not. I'm going to try to get CD on this crosser across the field. It is a little hard to force it, especially if they pick it up. But if they are a little late on it, it will be wide open. Let's see what our opponent's going to do. Looks like we might have CD over the top here. We're going to throw it to the sideline or it's going to be we kind of got hit while we threw it. That could have been a huge play. This guy sooner or later has to start realizing that we are kind of forcing the ball. Oh, and I don't know if I said it, but we did move CD to the slot. Let's see if we can get him on this corner route. He should be pretty fairly open open here and it looks like we're gonna force it a little bit and yeah we we're kind of forcing a little too too much there we've thrown cd the ball every play cd's actually tired here but i'm gonna literally just give him a break i'm just gonna give him a break and then we'll take a time out and hopefully he forgets looks like we're gonna take aj dylan a nice little dump down there let's call a timeout let's get cd back in and let's get him going so we have him on a nice little baby route but if we can get him the ball maybe get him a little bit more involved here let's see it looks like cd's gonna be wide open on a, another cowboy right there d or i almost said debo Deion sanders cooking him right there but then he got hit by everson walls oh you guys know the the best way to run flood is literally quick snapping it as fast as possible. Let's see if we can get him on the sideline here on this nice little flood concept. Looks like if we, we literally went to the... I mean, I don't even know how to explain it. We went to the right side of the field, threw to the left, and CD's going to be about as wide open as possible right there. We forced the ball so much, and we finally get it to work. So it looks like in the second game, we are going to be getting the ball second. And yeah, in the, in the first game, I really just showed offense. I got the ball back again, and yeah, CD was literally dead. And this guy is going to be running right away with Cam. No repercussions at all. That's a 300-pounder. We should be able to force a little bit of something there. Debating just letting this guy score so we can get the ball back and just go off with CD. But let's see what he got here. No way he's going to run the ball. He run, does run the ball in-house rules. I don't know if I'm the only one that just... I never run the ball in-house rules. I just can't do it. Especially, like, if... Okay, maybe if I'm doing a gameplay. But, like, I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I am just not the only one that doesn't do it. Let's see if we're going to have anything here, though. Looks like he's going to throw right at our hard flat. What is going on? And he's going to hurry up after that awful, awful read. Let's see if we can get another stop here. Is he going to run the ball? He's going to throw it. 
And it looks like we're going to have a bag and he's going to... No way. I was about to say, no way that's a dot. Right. So this is where it gets a little bit scary is empty. Empty is the most random formation in the game. And he... I don't even know what just happened there. But let's see. Is he going to quit after that? No way he quits, right? Yeah, he's probably going to quit, but... All right, he's still in the game. Let's go make a play then. I, I don't know. I like usually people do quit after a play like that. And he's backing his safeties up. I'm a little scared here. I really do want to get this cover two bomb or just a bomb in general. And it looks like we might have CD over the middle, but our seven man protection will not hold up long enough. It does suck because in house rules, the sheds are way. You could see the sheds are super, super tuned up. That does not happen. And like that's a touchdown every single time in head to head. So it's a little harder in those aspects to do gameplays. And it looks like he is user rushing like crazy. We're going to lob this one over his head and we're going to miss it on a non. I didn't even say an accurate. We just got him lucky, I guess, there. As you can see, he is getting wide open. It really just comes down to we're getting really unlucky with sheds, uh, unlucky passes, literally everything right now. And it looks like we're going to have him wide open over the middle. Can't I think I just overspun and we're going to make the craziest play. What is going on? I don't know what just happened there, but we got an extra 10 yards, literally just spamming random buttons. You know, if every play could work something like that, I would definitely take it. Let's see if we can get him on a backside dig here. He should be open over the middle. Don't want to force it too bad. It looks like we're just going to have B. And yeah, I, I need to get rid of Payton bad, man. I, don't, I know that's like more of kind of my fault, but like, I don't know. It's like, I just have such high hopes for him. And he just like, I don't, I, I don't know. I it's just like not being able to scramble in this game. If you have a bad play like that, you're just kind of screwed and you're just left in the dirt. Let's see though. Will we have a nice little zig route right here from CD? It looks like he is going to cook his man right there. And I think that was, who was that? Jason Verrett. And we are going to get right down to the three yard line, getting so close to that tutter. Coming over, we did move him to the slot. So he should get open here. Maybe, maybe he is going to be sending a lot of people. Can we throw a low pass? We're going to throw it right away. And we kind of got cheated. Let's go play defense. Not cheated. That was kind of a bad play by me. Acrobat is the best ability I've ever seen it in history. So let's go get a stop again. And let's do it again. Think he's going to chew clock the whole game. I'm actually going to guess run here. And hopefully we get lucky. Looks like the guess run is going to not work at all. He still gets the first. We need to, we need to just play a good D here. This is literally all we need to do. We guess run like a bot. And he's going to throw a pick right to Kadero Patterson. And yeah, I don't... You can't make that up. You can't make it up. You make throwers or runners throw the ball. You're going to get a lot of turnovers. I love seeing that. I really do. I really do. We did. He was trying to chew the clock. It did not work out for him. And now we have a chance at getting CD Lamb another touchdown. Will we have him on this corner route? Looks like I'm going to force it anyways. And we almost went nuts. That was almost crazy. Really hoping for a bomb here. You guys can see this might be the weirdest player I've ever. Look at it. He literally backs up his players every single play. Every single play. It's actually kind of nuts. Let's see, though. Will we have him wide open over the middle? Looks like what he did might have just screwed him. We're going to throw it. It looks like CD is going to be... I don't know if I would have pressed X, it would have worked. I have no clue what that was, but we did catch the ball, huge bomb, and he was wide open. I'm not gonna lie, I, w I will take that every day. I just wish maybe he looked a little bit sexier than that. Are we gonna have CD? We're not. Let's take a timeout here, get him refocused, and let's get him going. We're gonna throw a nice little out route here. We should have him open. No, he actually goes over to the defensive user. Will we have CD? We almost forced it. I don't know what I'm doing there. Let's go score a touchdown. I'm being an absolute bot right now. I think this should be easy with this next play. CD in the slot. He should be open over the middle. Looks like he's going to be. We're going to throw a low pass, and he's going to be a wide open target in the end zone. Getting an easy touchdown. That's the second one, I think, of the video. Yeah, second one of the video, and we are dominating. We need to get a big play right here. I'm going to run that same play. We threw a pick on the first drive. I don't think he's going to come out in goal line on the two-yard line, and he does. We're going to run a slant. I really think like it's going to be that easy just to run a slant against this guy. Let's see. And it looks like, yeah, it was. And we should have blocked the running back. It was wide open. So it looks like in the third game, we're just, I'm literally going to guess run and let this guy score. I just want to get one more offensive possession out here. I want to get CD another touchdown. If this guy will pick his play, you're really... Uh, you really don't got to do much here. Just throw a vertical out here and you're going to score. Definitely right here. Big Ike, please. Okay, okay. Here we go. Here we go. We're going to literally pull everybody down. We're guessing run. Hopefully he realizes it. We are literally letting him get a touchdown. Let's see what he's going to do here. There you go. Throw it. There you go. These are the guys that dance too. Hold on. I'm going to show you guys. These are always the ones that dance too, especially if you have to give them a nice little free touchdown. 
Yep, yep, yeah, it comes. It always comes. So first play of the game, I'm actually gonna go for a bomb. This would be amazing. He looks like he just pulled back Junior Seau. I'm not really scared of Junior Seau, no abilities. But at the end of the day, or oh, that's actually Jalen Phillips. Okay, so I'm even less scared now. I'm gonna throw it right at him. He's gonna get toasted. And we're listen, we might have a spin for a touchdown as well. And we are gonna trot right into the end zone. CD Lamb going absolutely bonkers right there crazy crazy let's go for a two-wing inversion too to end this video off maybe we can get something crazy here i love the zig route the zig route's the best route in the game in my opinion one of the best routes in the game we should be able to get him wide open we're gonna quick snap this and will we have him it looks like we might have to wait a little bit cd lamb low pass and no he marshall Lanamore made a great play i appreciate you guys sticking around to the end that was a super fun gameplay to record that's like player i absolutely love watching in real life and yeah if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to smash that like button i love doing gameplays i might do an antonio gibson one right after this not 100 sure on that but appreciate you guys and yeah make sure to smash that like button see you guys boys